Hey, what is up guys, it's Russell here. Today, I wanted to talk about a couple of issues I found with the maps. Now, I'm gonna start off by saying I love the maps. They are so, so cool. You know, Shadows of Evil, it's really getting up there to be one of my favorite maps, you know, even surpassing Buried in Call of the Dead because they're my favorites. But they're like, they're not without their faults. And these ones are more kind of visual faults of it um, that I think easily could have been taken care of if they had a look. So. What we're looking at now is the water by the canals, uh, not canals, I think it's waterfront me. district, by the gym. Anyway, so we're up by the train station right now, where you can always go. And I noticed this while in game, and I thought I'd go here in theatre. But you can see the edge of the water. You can see that square, that river just flows, like, just, it's just all there. Because water, like, comes in square segments or whatever, and they place it down. But then you got the ships in the background just floating on nothing. Like, what? Like, okay, I get it. Like, you know, you can't just play stuff where no one's going to be. You know, you got to save space. That's cool. But when you go up there in normal gameplay and you see, like, this huge gap there, it's not good. I'm going to compare this to, like, Silent Hill HD, which I've never played. But one of my friends has, and he hates it so much because apparently the fog makes it so you can actually see the edge of the water. And this is exactly the same thing, basically. The fog isn't thick enough to where, like, it's not blocking, like, the edge of the water. And I thought it was a little weird when I first started, that, like, no, just something seemed a little off. But at ground level, it's a bit harder to, to tell. But up here, you know, obviously you can see. And what's weird, though, is that the boss rounds have got that fog coming in. And that actually, I'm pr I think you can't see the edge of it. I think there's enough fog where you can't see it. I think that fog would be fine enough just covering that whole area. You know, this light fog doesn't cover shit. You can see, like, the edge of the map. And while you could say it does fit in with the story of how this world isn't exactly their own, it's kind of like sort of another dimension of their own world or whatever, it is still, like, that's not, that's just kind of a lazy reasoning. Like, it's an obvious flaw. And I just wish, you know, like, I'm kind of like transit you know they put in all that fog so you can't see all the flaws when there is no fog you know i reckon they could have put done a better job with that fog in that area because there are some other really small issues i've noticed where you can see like under the map or these little holes and shit but those aren't important because those are in every map and i would just be nitpicking if i looked at those now the next one is on the giant now this one is actually kind of a pretty serious one and it's one that's i'm really surprised i did not catch so if you go to the room above the furnace with the gobble gum machine and you look at that boarded window, you look up above the door, that little header thing there, you can see that they didn't even bother to put a model in for the roof there. Like, and it's got this weird kind of motion blur thing going on. Like if you shoot at it or you move the camera a bit, you can see this weird like kind of after effect motion blur thing going on. It was just kind of cool. But you shouldn't be able to see that normal gameplay. I thought it was some weird light trick going on, and it was like a point of interest. But it, it's just literally they didn't have like a solid wall there to cover that. Which is weird, because they had it there in Doris, and in the Doris remake in Black Ops 1. So I was just a little confused that they could leave like something that pivotal right there. And you know, that one doesn't really have the excuse of being covered by the story at all, so... But yeah, guys, like, I'm going to reiterate, I really do love these maps and the amount of thought that went into them. So, you know, props to Treyarch. They did a wonderful job. But yeah, it's just something that I wish could have been looked at more. All right, guys, I will see you later. Cheers.